Welcome to Phase Paradox. Normally I start a game without talking too much about it, but I'm quite certain you have no idea what this game is and you've probably never heard of it. So let me give you some context, because this is probably one of the strangest things I've ever played on my channel. Phase Paradox is actually a sequel to a 1995 game called Philosoma. Hopefully I'm pronouncing that correctly. And that game was some sort of a scrolling shooter. And then in 2001, they released a sequel, this game, Phase Paradox, which, unlike the original, isn't a scrolling shooter of any sort. It's actually sort of like a choose-your-own-adventure survival horror thing. Why they changed the genres so much in between the two games, I have no idea. And to make it even more strange, Phase Paradox, unlike the original, this game actually never came out in North America. It was only released in, as far as I know, Japan. Um, which you think would make the game almost unplayable for me. However, the very strange thing about it is that even though most of the text is in Japanese, all of the voice acting is actually in English. No idea why. It, maybe they were intending it to be released in North America, but it just, for whatever reason, never ended up coming here. Not sure. So, it's going to be awkward to play without a doubt, because a lot of the, well, all of the text pretty much will be unreadable. So hopefully it's not too important but at least I can understand the characters and what they say, so hopefully that'll be enough to get me through. But there's even more to the story than just that. One of the big reasons I want to play this game is because if you search for information on it, it's almost impossible to find, like, freaking anything about it. I've searched on YouTube. There are no complete playthroughs of this game on the entirety of YouTube as far as I can see. The most I've found is like a one-hour video, and that's about as far, as they, as far into it as they get. Um, I haven't been able to find any reviews online except for one user review of this game on, I think, the GameFAQs article about it. Um, I haven't been able to find any walkthroughs of any sort, so if I get stuck, I'm pretty well screwed. It's like it's almost like this game never existed, which is strange to think, because it came out 15 years ago, which in the game world is a long time, but it's really not that long ago if you think about it, and yet it's pretty much fallen off the face of the earth. Maybe most of the information about this game is just on Japanese websites, though, since it never came to North America. So that might be why I had such trouble finding it. But yeah, that's one of the reasons I want to play it, is to kind of actually document what the hell this game is before it completely disappears off the face of the Earth. And the other reason is just because, well, it's going to be crazy and weird. From what I've heard, it's a terrible game, based on the little snippets I've heard about it. And it's going to be very confusing, because, you know, it's mostly in Japanese, and yeah, it's going to be fun. It's going to be interesting. So let's get started. Uh, before I start a new game, let me go ahead and restart the game, actually, because there's a intro cinematic that you should probably see. This is Captain Nicola Michaud to Gallant. Gallant, do you read me? Affirmative, Strega, we read you. Are you all right, Captain? Can you tell me what happened down there? What's going on with the planet? Captain, I don't know where to start to explain. That planet, Planet 220, might not even be a planet. Are you implying that 220 is... There's a high-energy reaction from 220. Captain, the gravity field is reversing. What? That's impossible. All stations go to red. Captain Misho, we have a state of emergency. Repeat, we have an emergency. Roger that. I confirm it as well. Reduce speed. Reduce speed. Planet 220 will reach a critical point in T-27 seconds. Issue an all-out emergency alarm. Unfold the shield. Cancel the number 15 landing sequence. Now! The highest priority is to pick up Captain Misho. Nine seconds to explosion of Planet 220. Captain Misho's manually operated ship approaching. Her landing speed is exceeding 227%. Two two O is exploded. Shockwave confirmed. Shockwave advancing. We have more damage. Okay, yeah, the game seems to break here for like 10 seconds. It will come back. I, I guess this is a good opportunity to mention the fact that this is a PlayStation 2 game and I'm actually playing it on an emulator. 
So there might be some odd behavior like this, um, but it does start working again, and it's been mostly flawless aside from this weird hiccup here. Unidentified optic has entered the launching area. Good God, that woman's dying from her skin-tight bikini suit. Someone get her some help. It's too tight. safety of the survivors is still remote. And this dreadful nightmare has just begun. And apparently that this game pretty much picks up where the first game left off. I guess Planet 220 was exploding or exploded at the end of the last game. And I guess this picks off on the ship trying to survive. Uh, mysterious... Uh, I guess the planet blew up and then aliens... I, I guess that's it. The planet blew up and then aliens. <laughs> we'll see. Jude Sutcliffe. There's his bio there in Japanese, so if anybody knows how to read Japanese, feel free to pause the video and go ahead and read it. I'm assuming it just says, Jude Sutcliffe is a very manly, manly man. I'm guessing that's his character. You get to play as multiple characters during this game, by the way. I think three different characters. Man, what happened? Dramatic pause. Now I can play. Alright, hopefully, uh, I'm pretty sure you don't have to solve puzzles in this game. I think it's more of a choose your own adventure than a Resident Evil type thing, which is good, because I'm going to have trouble solving puzzles in Japanese. That's a choice. I don't know what the choices are. I'm going to say yes. Sure. Okay, cool. Feels like it's full of sand. Jude, are you all right? I think I'll live. How about you? Yeah, I'm all right. CIC to damage control. Fire broke out at the hangar. The scale is Alpha 2. Your team will join forces with Bravo team to fight the fire. All right, people, this is it. Don't let Bravo get ahead of us.
The shockwave came from the explosion of 220. Cut the chatter. We've got to get this done. Marcus team, let's go. The surface area fire is alpha two degrees. This is not a drill. There are considerable casualties. And be aware of toxic gas. Lance and Elliot, come with me. Jude will command the rest of them. First priority is to rescue the survivors. There better not be any questions, people. This is life and death. The lights went out. This doesn't look good. Does anybody know what's going on? I don't know. <laughs> Has it stopped? What is that sound? Ah, oh, this voice acting. Shh, be quiet. Is it an alien? Nope, just a yellow light. Jude, why is it running like this? It's out of control! That's asking me if I want to save. Yeah. Uh. Yes. Sure. I think it's saving. Okay, it's saved. I think. Yeah, so if you hear little skips and stuff in the uh, in the audio, that's not the game being weird, that's just the emulation being a little bit imperfect. Sometimes it slows down and speeds up a little bit. So character number two, Renee. All off-duty medical orderlies proceed to the transport pod. Renee's sense of fashion is absolutely amazing, as you're about to see. Proceed to the transport pod. Your man was taken to the medical room. I'll take care of him. Please look after my friend, Doctor. I will. Luckily, the damage to the medical facility wasn't too serious. Well, I'm gonna go back to my troop in the standby room. This is Dr. Barrett. Go ahead. A casualty has been secured at the deck landing hatch. Come to the ICU immediately. Doctor, it's the Strega pilot. You've got to come to the ICU at once. Excuse me. Yep, she's missing half of her pants. With a nice tattoo showing. I don't think I've ever seen anyone do that. That is just such bizarre fashion. It's the fashion of the future, I guess. What they imagine the future to look like. So, you can read descriptions of all these different things, but there's obviously no point in me actually doing that, because I can't read any of it. Um, I don't know if you ever have to pick up items or what, so we'll... We'll see what happens with that. For now, let's leave.
Looks like it goes somewhere important, but I can't go in that way. Oh, there's someone here. Can't do anything with them. There's another way out of here. Yeah, here we go. So I believe when you press the... I don't know what it is on the PS2, but when I press the Xbox 360 controller, uh, Y, which is what I'm actually using to play this game, um, I think it gives you like a hint as to what you're supposed to do next. Because I translated a couple of these, and I think I'm supposed to go to a teleporter room or something like that. Locked, I guess. Why is that in English? Terminal access, narrow network. Tan. The sound design in this game is so dead. These people are, I'm assuming, talking, but there's just no sound at all, just eerie silence. Where's the teleporter? I tried playing this game a little bit a while ago, and I remember at this point I got stuck. Like, I could not figure out where the hell to go. So I might get stuck again, but if I get too stuck, I'll just cut out all my wandering about. If I remember right, all of these doors you can't enter. So I might have to translate a couple things. Thankfully, it's not too hard to do that. I can't do it in real time, unfortunately, but I can do it a little bit uh, fairly fast by using... Uh, you can actually use the Google Translate application and just take a picture of the text on the screen with my phone and use that to translate it in like five seconds or so. It's such a great beginning, isn't it? Just empty hallways. Alright, I probably have to do something with the neural network. Those other doctors can go inside of those doors, but I can't. What makes them so special? Oh, wait a minute. I don't think I ever went back here before. Last time I played this game, this might be where I need to go. I found an entirely new area, oh my god. <laughs> what a terrible beginning. <laughs> Just running down empty hallways. You can't talk to anyone. Can't go in any of the rooms. I'm not even gonna bother trying those doors. What's the point? Okay. Let's go down the main hallway. It's probably back here, right? This way, please? Yes, thank god, something. Roger, copy. Phase three. It's the year eighteen thirty eight. Of course, Manly Man 
Jude Sutcliffe and his probable love interest survive. I'll check on them, but I'm pretty sure they're smushed. Lieutenant Lance Fuller is... Lance? That He's was his name? Here. Lance, I never in. knew his name Lance, all these years. Copy? I think my comm device is shot. Try yours. Lieutenant Lance Fuller, please respond. Let us know where you are. Nothing? We've got to get in contact with CIC somehow. He might have gone to get help. Maybe we should wait here. I think something's gone wrong with this ship. Staying here could be dangerous. The well, first no, thing we have to do is no shit. Something's gone wrong with the ship. It exploded. The planet exploded next but to it. But how are we supposed to get there, Lieutenant? The medical ward is on the starboard side. We should be able to find a ton there. Okay, let's go. Yes, sir. Found a way to get in. Ready? Let's go. Right. I don't get it. Where is everyone? It's gotta be aliens. this thing? Oh, I think that's an option to use it. Uh, yes? Am I looking at security cams? explosion to be a factor. Let's see if we can figure out what caused this. Yes, sir. Maybe I can punch something up on the screen. There, I got it. They seem to be frightened of something. A gun? Has he gone mad? This is incredible. Something's wrong. I think that's decision. So from what I've heard about this game, uh, like I said, it's sort of a choose your own adventure. And most of the gameplay from what I've heard, which is very little, again, not much information about it, but from what I've heard, it's basically a you make the right decision and the story continues, or you make the wrong decision and you die. So what I'm going to do is whenever I'm presented with what I'm assuming is a decision like this, uh, I'm going to do a save state, which is something you can do using an emulator. Uh, it's basically like saving the game exactly as it is without actually saving it. So that way I can come exactly back to this decision if it happens to end in death and I don't have to load a save from like five minutes ago or something. So save state and let's say yes to whatever the hell the decision is. Was that saying yes to watching the whole tape or... I want to see the creature. What are they firing at? Let's go to the monitor room. Why would he start shooting like that? More importantly, what was he shooting at? Let's go. Oh, I guess I decided to go to where that shooting was happening. Was that the right decision? We'll see.
Ah, it is. I see blood. Does she not want to come inside? I could use some backup here. Lieutenant, what is it? A laser gun? You'd better hang on to that thing for a while, Yuma. But, Lieutenant, I don't... The way things are going, you never know when you'll need it. The framing of these shots is really bizarre. I feel like he's talking to the wall right now while she's talking to him like 15 feet away outside of the room. Something feels wrong about it. Isn't the 220 rescue mission getting underway soon? You're the flight leader. Shouldn't you have left by now? If I succeed in this mission, I might be able to intercede with the top echelon. I could get you reinstated as a pilot. I told you I didn't want to talk about it. I'm perfectly happy working with Dagt. But you have a gift. You're such a great pilot. You're much better than I am. Stop patronizing me, Captain. It's beneath you. But I... I want to fly with you. I want you to be by my side. <laughs> How do you expect your men to risk their lives for someone acting so emotional? Now go. They're waiting for you. <laughs> oh my god. Alright. When this mission is over, can I see you again? Oh, this is such There's cheesy garbage. You, something that has nothing to do with you. How dare you show emotion? Oh, I would never follow sorry. a person who shows emotion. Interrupt. Well, I'll see you. What is it? What happened? It's Captain Nikola Misha. Captain? Captain Misha? What is she doing here? She seems to be alright. This is a recuperation bed with a nano machine. I think she's in suspended animation. The equipment doesn't seem to be damaged. Yeah, you're right. And considering what we saw on the monitor, it's amazing that she's alive at all. Can't we wake her up somehow? I don't know, but we can't just leave her like this. We gotta find someone who can work the equipment. Aren't there supposed to be more than ten people stationed here? Where have they disappeared to? They could be anywhere at this point. Maybe they're in another ward. We have to find them. You and Captain Misho are... She was my classmate at aviation school. Before anything else, we've gotta find some medical staff. But... okay. And he's totally not in love with her. Okay, I'm calling it right now. They're gonna like kill all the aliens by the end of this, but then it's gonna turn out that she's infested, she's a host, and she survives, and the aliens continue on to Earth through her or something like that. I'm calling it right now. I guess we just leave. Lieutenant, I'm gonna go look for them. Wait here. Yuma! Wow, if she gets a bit more confidence, she might really turn out to be somebody. What? 
What? Aren't, also, aren't you supposed to work together as a team? Wow, something very strange is going on here. People are firing at mysterious things. Let's split up! She probably didn't go to one of these other places, right? Uh, probably down the main hallway, I would guess. I don't know. This way? That has no point in using anything again, is there? This is where I came from. Decision, and now it doesn't pop up anymore. Did I, like, enable a thing? Christ, I don't know what to do. I'll try to use this one, too. Nope. Uh... Let me translate a couple of these messages telling me what to do. Oh, I think I maybe found it. Just this random door opened up for me. Uh, the message, by the way, says we need to search for medical staff. sort of room, but there seems to be nobody here, and nothing I can interact with. Alright, so I guess random doors are open to me, so I guess I should just keep searching all these other doors. Yep, this one opens too. Looks like a server room or something. So it's gotta be, some, gotta be some more doors up here that can open. I hope this isn't like the level layout for the entirety of the game is just walking back and forth between these stupid things. It really is a shame I can't read Japanese. I'd like to know what all these descriptions say. They're probably silly, insignificant stuff.
But like with a lot of these things, I'll just never know what they are. Like, is this a wall full of speakers? Is this like the music room? Blow out your eardrums? of these rooms. It's a mystery. There's like a chair and a big glowing green orb in the center of the room. What the heck is that? Why does this have so many doors? Where do they all go? So many questions. Wait, so this is where I came in. This is where I came in. I went through this door. Through here. So I came through there. And there's two other doors? That's the one I went through. This is back to the original one? That's very confusing for some reason. What an odd way to design a spaceship. Jesus, watch where you shoot a laser gun. Yuma, stay where you are. Don't move. Oh no, she's not in there. She's what? Where'd she come from? <laughs> what the hell? What's going on? Shh, quiet. Ugh, that was too close. Oh, now I get to make a decision. So if I make the wrong decision, I'm probably going to get shot with a laser. I actually want to make the wrong decision. I want to see what a failure looks like. So let's go do a safe state. Um, I'm going to say that saying yes is probably going in. Saying no is probably staying behind. So let's say yes and just like run in. Assuming that's what it's going to do. Do it. Yuma, give me the gun. You don't mean to shoot. If you've got any better ideas, let's hear them. But we don't know who it is. We've got to face the fact that this could be a mutiny. You know, you could like talk, hide behind cover, say like, hey, stop shooting. Who are you? By the way, this game's really high tech. I actually felt uh, rumbles in the controller with every Yuma, laser shot. You can come in now. All right. So who'd you murder? Lieutenant, Jude? who is it? I think it's a medical technician. Is she dead? Yeah, I'm afraid so. Good job, Why buddy. Why did you shoot her? She was shooting at us first, remember? Did you have to kill her? Yes, she was part of the mutiny. But you could have talked to her. There must have been some other way. Don't turn on me now. <laughs> Did you forget what happened? I might have to shoot you. Room? Are you mutinying against me? Now you listen to me, Yuma. For whatever reason, she started firing that gun. It didn't seem like a good time to start asking questions. You may not understand this now, but it had to be done. <laughs> Why is Let's he talking to, to her like she's a 13 year old girl that doesn't understand her parents' out. divorce? Okay, I'm gonna load and I'm gonna do the other option. Hey, hold your fire! Don't shoot! No! Don't come in here! A woman? Maybe it's an orderly. Oh, another decision. Uh, I guess I'll save again. 
I have no idea what this one says. Sure. Hey, calm down in there. We don't know what happened, but we're on your side. Wait a minute. Don't shoot. I want you to just listen to me, all right? We are from DACT. There's someone in ICU that needs medical attention. Do you understand? There was an accident with the transporter. Our captain and the others are all dead. We need help. Drop your guns and show yourselves. Yuma, it's a woman. D didn't we already establish that? All right, we're coming in. Just don't shoot. I won't. If you do as I tell you, I won't shoot. All right then. I'm coming in alone. I'm unarmed. All right, now come over here. Slowly, no fast movements. I won't do anything, just take it easy. That's it, keep walking slowly. Five months later. Stop right there. Get over there in time. Get what the hell? On yourself. Hey, did he teleport? Of course, she faints. Pull yourself together. Come on, Corporal Mei Li Shen. Wake up. That's an order. Corporal, are you alright? Are you in pain? I didn't hurt you, did I? Come on, open your eyes. You're awake, thank heaven. No! Hey, Let go! Hey, calm down! Don't help me! Now, no one's gonna kill you! Just relax, okay? Calm down! I pin her down till she relaxes. Please, just try and relax. We won't do anything to hurt you, okay? Good. Now just lie still. Everything's gonna be fine. Now listen to me. We've been held up inside our transporter for a long time, and we haven't been able to get in touch with anyone. Now all we're trying to do is to find out exactly what happened here. Is there anything you can tell us? Try and remember. It's all right now. Try to calm down. <laughs> Look, can you just tell us what happened here? All of a sudden, everyone went crazy. What do you mean went crazy? <sighs> I don't get it. See if you can get through to her, Yuma. I don't seem to be having any luck. Wow, you tried really you hard, Jude. what happened from the beginning? I, I don't know. I'll try. Maybe the 220 explosion caused it. The 220 explosion? I don't understand. I... I don't understand it either. An outbreak of some unknown virus must have killed everyone. A virus? Where are the other orderlies? And the doctors? They were all called out because of the explosion. And what about you? I came back about 30 minutes ago to replenish a medical kit. Then... Then you were attacked. I was going to the doctor's room on the rear floor. Who attacked you? Was it one of the patients? Not just one, but all of them. I escaped into here. I was so frightened. Mei Li, I want you to listen to me, okay? There's someone in ICU that needs help. <gasps> Captain Misha? Yes, Captain Misha. Can you help us? But you need a doctor to run the equipment. I can't do it by myself. A doctor? 
Great. All right, I'll go find a doctor. I'll go with you. We should stick together. No, Yuma. You stay with the corporal and take care of her. She's pretty shook up. Are there any other weapons around here besides this one? I don't know. I found that one on the floor over there. I'll bring a doctor back with me. Just hang tight. If I'm not back in 30 minutes, take the corporal and go to CIC. Understand? And if there's any trouble, I don't care who it is, shoot first and ask questions later. All right, just be careful. Do as I say, not as I do, since I didn't shoot first. All right, let's find a doctor. doing. Is that safe in the game or something? Limited time. Uh, do... thing. It's a monster, isn't it? I guess I made the decision not to shoot? Or... Hey, you alright over there? Hey, can you hear me? That's enough! What's going on around here? Body's gone? Okay. <laughs> oh my god, this game is so bizarre. Shoot? I don't know if that's shooting. What did I decide to do? I don't know. Stop! Don't come any closer! I think I chose the wrong option. There's a rumble in the controller every time Jude Sutcliffe gets punched. I love it. <laughs> yeah, so I think I lost the game. So, just out of curiosity, what happens if I continue after I've failed, rather than do a load state? Like, where's it gonna put me? Uh, All the way back here? Oh my god, I'm so glad I did save states. Oops, I just made the same decision again. Let's do this one. Is that gonna shoot first? Ask questions later? Yes! I know I hit it! What do you mean, it? It's a person. Uh oh, another save. That's probably... Encounter them or run? I'm guessing? Uh, I don't know.
What? Oh damn, you need more no. double A's. The gun's out of energy. <laughs> you think there'd be an indicator on the gun that it's out of energy, you know, before trying to fire it again? You who helped me? Tell me what's going on in here. Would you mind shutting the door, please? Where did you come from? Your outfit shows you're attacked, but I... My name is Jude Sutcliffe of the Marcus team, and you are... Ewan Barrett, military doctor. A doctor? I'm glad I finally found you. You saved my life. What do you mean? I thought you came to rescue me. Aren't you with the team? My team was wiped out when our transporter crashed. I found my way in here by sheer luck. I see. Well, you're lucky to be in one piece. What are you doing in this place? I'm taking refuge here. As long as I shut myself in, they can't get to me. It seems they're now incapable of opening the door. Those guys out there are crazy. Do you have any idea what's wrong with them? It could be a level 5 biohazard. A what? Oh, you're not one of those believers in germ theory, are you? I said a level 5 biohazard. Maybe it was caused by that 220 explosion. The shockwave could have released it. Yeah, it's possible some unknown virus has contaminated the ship. Do you think it's some kind of aerial infection? Why would no, an exploding planet so. cause it's some less than virus or something? Wouldn't it obliterate explosion. any virus? And judging from the present conditions, the incubation period is very short. Don't worry, I got hurt in the monitor room, but it doesn't seem to be contagious. Anyway, the source and cause of the virus are still unknown. After the explosion of that planet, a lot of casualties were brought in. And then, all of a sudden, people in the medical center started to come down with a strange disease. I can only say that their symptoms were those of madness. I've been trying to make contact outside this area. I thought I had gotten through and that you had come to help me. I'm sorry that wasn't the case. Doctor, you've got to help me. I need you to operate the equipment in the ICU. But the ICU has been destroyed. All the other residents are dead. I guess Captain Misho didn't make it either. No, you're wrong. She's not injured. Captain Misho's still alive? Yes, but she's in suspended animation. The equipment in the ICU has to be operated by a doctor, so you've got to come with me. I need to revive her as soon as possible. But how do we get there from here? The corridor is full of them. We'll never get through. What are you talking about? I didn't see them anywhere except on this rear floor. They're all over the place. You said they can't operate the door, and that suits us just fine. Yuma, I found a doctor. You and the corporal meet us in the monitor room. Roger. As long as you keep that gun, you'll be all right. I'm assuming you've been trained, haven't you? Yes, I attend regular firing drills. <sighs> Since the captain is still alive, we'd better go. I'll go on ahead. Save the game wherever I want. No, I can only load. Apparently, I, there's a map and items and crew. <laughs> Probably no point in looking at any of it because I'm sure I can't read it. Let's take a look at the map though. Yep, that's useless. Item? Singular item. No item. No. Dang. What the heck is keyword? I have no idea. without me. 
I think it'd be important to stick together. Whoa. Where's this? Assuming we meet him back at the cryostasis corporal major, whatever. Oh my god! Hand to hand combat? Better do a save state. Uh, fight! Or whatever it is I decided to do. Oh, I decided to run away. What if I go back? I just die, don't I? <laughs> Damned clever fiends. So what do I, what if I do the other option? What's that do? Is that fight? Yeah, yeah fuck him up, Jude Sutcliffe. Oh, that didn't work out. You suck, Jude. I can't imagine how frustrating this would be if you had to play this not having save states and actually relying on saves every time you messed up going back like five minutes or something. Ugh. Alright, so I gotta find another place to run to. Ah, I picked the right way. Protect me, doctor! Lieutenant, behind you, get down! trouble. Awkward silence. <coughs> Sorry. You saved my life again. I told you they were here. Why didn't you believe me? Well, they weren't there a little while ago. Ugh. What are you doing? Here, Lieutenant. You'd better keep this. I'm finding this whole situation a little difficult to deal with. Alright, well, before this episode ends up being really, really long, I think I should end it here. Uh, I don't know if the game saved, but I'm gonna do a save state, so that should be good enough. This game is freaking weird. It's so terrible, but man, I really want to know what happens, and there's just something extra fascinating and extra interesting about playing a game that, like, no one else really has, at least they haven't documented it. Something really fascinating about that. Alright, well, I hope you've enjoyed so far, and I'll be back soon.